Hello. Perfect. How is everyone today? Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because we are focusing on abs and upper body today. I just have a set of five pound dumbbells. Um, I love these little guys. They're just super easy for like Pilates style little workouts and for sculpt. So yeah, it feels incredible outside. I decided to be in a bikini today. I love this bikini so much. If you guys saw my new try on haul, this is from Sheen. Literally such a good haul of Sheen bathing suits. But anyways, let's get started. I have my little tablet here to look to make sure that we don't freeze today um, and also to pay attention to the messages so please keep the messages respectful as always and yeah let's get started so just come to um, see just come to a comfortable seat cross-legged or on your shins Let's just set the space today. Begin to take some deep breaths. Relax the shoulders from your ears. Sit up nice and tall. Already beginning to suck in your belly button. It's very important if you want to get rid of those, um, the lower pudge in your belly to really just keep focusing on pulling it in and not letting yourself like loose. I know it's hard to do that, but at least when we're meditating and doing for um, doing our yoga, really focus on a nice long spine, pulling the belly button in, and it's already like burning your belly. So it'll already begin to sweat as you're breathing. So yeah. So let's just take three more breaths. Set an intention today. I invite you to make any intention that you want, or you can, um, I invite you to have no judgment on yourself. Say you're not where you want to be today. Don't judge yourself. Give yourself patience and think about what you want to achieve as long as you keep coming to your mat, keep showing up for your workouts, eating healthier, and whatnot. So just have patience for yourself and know that as long as you keep coming back to yourself, you keep working on your, it's going to come back on. Okay, we're back online. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't be alive if it didn't freeze. I'm so sorry. This time my tablet overheated, but I have like a shield on top. But anyways, let's just get back into it. Again, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Once the winter comes, I'm going to stop filming outside and move inside, so it'll definitely be way better. But anyways, let's just go ahead, um, clasp the hands, push your body away as you exhale, and then we're gonna uh, inhale as we come up. Arch the back. Exhale, push. Inhale up. We're elongating the core as we come up. And we're elongating the back and rounding our shoulder blades as we come down. Last time up and then release. So we're just going to start to get into the core. Come on up. So we'll use the weights in just a little bit. So let's just come into Navasana boat pose. We'll move the fleshy part underneath our bottoms begin to lift up your legs to a 90 degree angle okay we'll first hold get the connection on the mat through your tailbone and then once you feel ready you'll extend your arms by your sides this is our first or a second variation or you can lift the arms up to the sky 
and straighten the legs. So we're gonna be holding here for about 10 breaths. So choose something that you can hold for that whole time. Thank you so much, James. Okay, holding here for 10 breaths. So again, we're focusing on the core, okay? So we don't wanna round our upper body. We're trying to pull the upper body up, pull, pull the belly button in, make your spine nice and straight, and then act as if there's a string pulling from the clouds. Okay, keep holding yourself up, keep breathing. Let me hear your breath all the way from wherever you are, Australia, Germany, the East Coast. Nice, keep going. We have five breaths left. Nice. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna go low boat to high boat five times, okay? So slowly come down, low boat. Try not to lay all the way back. Okay, extend your arms over and then come back up to high boat. That's one, we have four more. Come on back, low boat. Nice, three more. Try to hover like this first and then extend the arms over and then exhale on the way up. Two more. Last one. Good. Come on up. Woo! And you can roll onto your back. Oh my goodness. Pulling in the knees. Good. Thank you so much, Frank. I appreciate it. Make small circles on your back. Okay, so here's where we're gonna add in the weights. Taking both weights if you have them, but you don't need them if you don't have them. Bring them up to the sky. Bring both legs up to the sky. We're going to do a chest press as we lower our legs. Okay, lower and lift. Going for 10. You can lift your neck or let it be on the mat. I'm just lifting it for a little extra core. Nice, just three more. Nice, okay. Coming up with the weights, we're going for a little um, circuit in between that and chest pr or <laughs> shoulder presses. So you can either keep your feet planted, do 10 of these, or you can lift into boat pose and then do them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, rolling back, going for the chest press with the leg lifts and begin. We're just going between these two exercises twice. So this is already our last round of this. And then we'll have two more um, rounds of different exercises. Woo. All right, last one. Coming right on up and going for the shoulder press. Nine and 10. Amazing. Dropping the weights, open up the knees for butterfly. Shaking the knees up and down and then we'll fold just for a breath. Nice, thank you, Sean. Um, definitely. <sighs> okay. 
For the DJ Dark, I believe a good mixture of yoga and weights is like the best. Because I do mostly this, but then I at least have like one heavy lifting day at the gym a week. And then I, other than that, I have like my 25 pound dumbbells here that I do for the rest of the week. Obviously I went to the gym way more before, but this has been doing me pretty good. So yeah, I'm really liking my body right now after having a baby. It's caused, it's allowed me to chill out, not over exercise and be more intentional with it. So I don't overwork. And I'm also making sure I eat enough, so that's good. Okay, so now we're going to do my favorites. We're going to go for um, the two exercises are we'll do a push-up. So we'll do push-up to side plank with the press with the dumbbell. Drop it down, push-up, and dumbbell. So that's one. So we're pretty much doing 10 on each side. I kind of lost count, so we'll just say we're halfway. <laughs> so I'm doing normal push-ups with my elbows kind of wide for this one. So the next time, I'll do yoga push-ups. I'll go one more time on each side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo, okay. Coming down. Wow, that was so good. Okay. Whew. Taking a little stretch. Okay, so what I'm going to go with this one I'm actually gonna move the weights this time and we'll just do one without. So we'll go downward facing dog. You can take a breath here to, to start. If you need that extra stretch. And actually, okay, I'll have a super set between the push-ups. So we're going to go at downward facing dog, coming forward to a yoga push-up. And then we're going to come back down and push it back to down dog. So that's one. We'll do 10. Coming forward, pushing up, upward facing, take another push up, and then down dog. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to my knees. So I'm coming down, knees, And getting back to down dog. Ooh. Okay, I'm dying already. Oh my goodness. See, I like doing this because you're still using your upper body strength when you push your hips back to down dog. And obviously on the way down. Woo. Thank you so much to everyone who's tipping. I appreciate it. I lost count again, so I'll do two more. Oh my goodness. I'm so sure. I don't know, my arms are so sore. 
Okay, that was good. Taking a sip of water, and then we'll go back into the push-ups with the dumbbell press. Wow, this is so good. I hope some of you are actually practicing with me, or we'll save it for later to actually do the workout. It's a really good one. I don't know what it is about doing core and like arms together, but I just feel so good. And I just love how I look after. Whew. I'm glad we're not having any more issues, hopefully, with the camera. I don't want to jinx it. I have a shield covering for the sun, kind of. So I'm going to try to move through this fast so it doesn't freeze again. Okay. Just moving this a little bit. It's more to the side. Okay. Here we go. Move this a little closer. And let's begin. So, okay, regular push up. Roll over, grab the dumbbell, and press. I'm waiting for, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, Frank, you were right. Everything is too hot today. It's such a shame. I'm like so embarrassed that this happens every single time, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna keep going. I had to move. So now the camera is completely in the shade, overheated again. I have good internet today and now it's just too hot outside. So always something but that is just how it goes. So taking the dumbbells again, and I'll get back into it. I think I have like three more. So going for the push-ups. Okay, going right into our down dog to our cobra and back up. So here we go, down dog, and I don't believe you, Jay Tucker. I'll have to see you do it. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Let's do two more. Okay, and pushing back to child's pose. My goodness. Okay. 
Okay, so we're coming back up, grabbing the dumbbells again. <sighs> See? Okay. So we're gonna go back into our Russian twist, or sorry, our boat pose, and we're going to do Russian twists. So I'm taking both of my weights and I'm putting them together. I'm lifting up, and we're going side to side. So let's see, let's do 10 on each side, so that's 20. Okay, bring this more back. And let's do it. Twist. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. Come down. Um. This last one, since I said we're only doing three sets, or three different, you know, whatever, groups, I'm gonna do a super set for this one. So we're going to do bicep curls, extend up, and then do tricep dips. Okay, so that'll be one. We'll come down, press, and go. Now you can do this sitting down, or you can stand up, whatever you want. Um, you know what? Let's do at least one warrior pose to change it up. So let's come on up to crescent warrior as we do this. So we can lunge down, bicep, press, and then come down again to do the press. So it'll be like two lunges every time. Okay. If you can't tell, I planned these on the spot. Okay, so. Come on down, bicep, press, tricep. Bicep, tricep. Bicep, tricep. Okay, I'm being cut out, but it's totally fine. Okay, bicep, tricep. Also, you guys can stay and just like this low Anjaneyasana and then do it. You know what, I think I'm gonna do this. So let's just say we're halfway. So down, bicep, press, tricep. Woo! Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna straighten the leg in between. Do a little half split. Walk myself over. Okay. And let's change sides. So I'll just go back a little bit. Okay. See, I just did this leg. So this leg, ready? So I'm gonna start like I did last time, going down, press, down, and come down. I'm not the best <laughs> um, weight instructor since I've only ever taught normal yoga. I just now kind of started teaching with the weights because fitness is my passion. So I genuinely love to weight lift. So I'll definitely have to get better at the cues and the names of everything. Okay. I'm gonna go down. Since we're about halfway, bicep and tricep. Bicep, tricep. Whew. Okay, last one. Nice. Dropping the weights. 
pressing back for a half split. <sighs> nice. All right, and now we're gonna go back into the Russian twists. And yeah, <laughs> that was a long one. Okay, so let's do it. Ready? Move this over. Okay. Oops. Don't want any accidents today. Okay. Russian twist. Lift and twist. It's kind of fun to do like a eight, a figure eight when I do this, because then it kind of gets more into the entire core and with a balance. Okay. Woo. They can't click forward fold. And we'll go back into our superset. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Taking a quick sip. Make sure to stay hydrated. My water bottle is like burning. I didn't realize how hot it was today because it was so cold last night and this morning. Okay, so coming back to our superset. And you know what, I'm just gonna stay in this low lunge. You know, that way we don't have to keep, you know, trying to work in the legs. Well, okay, now that I do that, it kind of feels good. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'll do the first half like this. You know what, I'm just gonna hold this crescent instead of doing the tapping. Also, let's change to the grip being hands up instead of to the side. Okay, I'm gonna drop down, that was halfway. Okay, woo, and straightening the front leg, <sighs> half split, okay. <laughs> That's funny, you're funny, dark, <laughs> woo. Okay, opening up for a quick horizon, big hip opener. Quick little skandasana, left and right. After I hurt my back, I'm like, I don't wanna pull anything else or have any incidents, so make sure to stretch if you're feeling really tight. Okay. Nice. We'll change sides. Okay. I'll just face this way. Okay, ready? Woo! My mat is dirty, because I'm so sweaty, and there's like dirt on me. I have to admit, since these are like outdoor mats, I just lay them over my fence. I definitely need to be cleaning them more. And you just like throw it in the pool. Okay, here we go. Last. One, and then one more Russian, no, this is the last one all together. So let's get it. So again, crescent, bicep, tricep. 
Woo! This side is more sore, so I've got to come down to a low lunge. Oh my goodness. Quick break. I still have a few more. My inner thigh on the right side is like so sore. Okay. It's always okay to take breaks. Just to get back into it. Okay, I'll do three more. Keep tucking in the core as we do this. It's okay to go back like this to where this um, back leg is straight. Because if we're too far forward, we might arch the back too much, which for me, it feels good, but I also don't want to hurt my back. So always be cautious. Woo, okay. That was the last one. Gonna put the weights to the side. Nice. <sighs> okay. Half split. Let's come on forward. Open up. Woo! Horizon lunge. Nice. Okay. Dropping for our skandasanas left and right, like we did on the other side. But this time, I'm dropping all the way down to where my butt is touching the ground and my heel is also planted. We're going to reach the left arm in front of the left thigh or right thigh, whichever side you're starting with, and open up for a twist. Nice. All right. Changing sides. Quick little fold in the middle as a transition. Woo! My inner thighs, they're so tight. Okay. Dropping open to the other side. Again, we're dropping all the way down to get this inner thigh and groin stretch. Open up this hip as we push this shoulder in front and then reach the arm up. Good. Come back through a wide legged. Dropping down into Malasana. Whew. And let's come on to the butt. Let's just take some last little stretches before we end. <clears throat> okay. Lifting up for a glute bridge. This actually feels really good to keep the heels planted and really push into the quads by squeezing the butt. It's a nice quad stretch. Good. Slowly lower. And actually, because I just said that, if you guys can try, we're doing kind of like Hero's pose, but one at a time. So we're bending the right knee or the right shin to get this right quad as we keep this left one planted. Okay. Let's change sides. So bend back into this knee, bend the other. Feels so good. OK. 
10. Nice. Okay, let's release that. Pull the knees in. We'll go for a twist. Oops. Don't want to kick anything in the water. Bring these over. Okay. Dropping the knees over towards the right. Gazes to the left. Nice. Yes, David Bowles, <laughs> Bowles, this is live, yes. Live right now. Whereas all my other videos I put for like a live premiere of my edited videos. That's why this video is definitely not perfect. Always having technical difficulties. So let's change sides. Drop the knees to the left, gazes to the right. Okay. Ah, uh, of course, Barbara. I love motivating. It's all I'm here to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the workout. Nice. Okay, let's jump to the center. Okay, let's roll on up. Let's take one little last forward fold. You know what, let's do, um, actually let's do this one. So let's open up, extending one of your legs and we're bending the other, but instead of having it, the foot inside the thigh, we're going to have the foot angled out. So this gets a different part of the hip, especially if you do a lot of opening of the hips. This is about closing the hips. So it feels so good for me. But we're pretty much trying to bend this back toe, flex it out, and then from here, you fold over this leg. Or you can even fold to the center, but the center is more difficult. But I'm gonna go for it. So nice. Okay, let's do this. Okay, come on up, changing sides. So extending open the other leg. I'm gonna turn to the side this time. Opening up this other knee again, it's flexing out and here is where we fold. So again, you can fold over this straight leg, which feels the best, but also if you straighten the middle, it works more of that outer hip over here. slowly come up and why not let's just open up for a wide straddle because like I was saying my um, inner thighs are like super sore I think it might have been from a different workout anyways open up as far as you can shake out your knees if you need we'll go for some side bends and then we'll fold in the middle and then we'll call it a day so Inhale, both arms. Let's side bend over towards the right foot. Big side bend. So keeping this arm inside and try to grab your toes, but I know most of you probably can't and that's okay. So you're just going to just keep side bending over as much as you can, keeping this arm down.
Okay, come back through center. Big arm to a T. Inhale, exhale, side bend over towards the left. Come up, shake it out, move towards the side more. Okay. Move your hips to a nice comfortable position, right? Inhale arms, last time. Exhale, walk them forward, right in the middle. So you can either hold on your forearms or even on your hands, pulling your hips forward. So you're trying to pull forward as much as you can. Keep the back straight. And then if you want, for my more flexible people, to drop all the way down. Slowly come up, bringing your legs together as slow or as fast as you want. We'll end in a little seat. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Let's take a few deep breaths together. Feel your belly ex um, expand as we inhale, and then feel it contract or release as we exhale. Let's do three more. Nice. Thank you all so much for working out and stretching with me. I hope you guys are liking it. And thanks to those who waited while the, the live froze twice today or maybe even more times, I don't even know. So thank you so much for waiting and still supporting by waiting there and sending tips and all that. Everything is super, super appreciated. Um, thank you, Frank. Wow, it's 93? Gosh, I thought it was cooling down. I was like excited to start wearing jackets and get like hot cocoa and hot coffee. It's fine, it's gonna happen soon. And I'm gonna miss the sunshine when it's away, but you know, living in California, it's really nice to get some cold weather, you know? Anyways, sending you guys all love from SoCal. Let me know where you guys are from, where you're watching from. And I'll be sending so much love. Anyways, bye.